In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a ship in Minecraft. And in particular we're going to be making a brig. Now with this one I've actually made it more of a trade brig so it's more of a trade ship than anything. There's no reason why you guys can't go in and actually add more guns in and actually make the lower deck a gun deck. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now if you're interested in more ship tutorials I'll leave a link in the card above and also in the description. So make sure to check that out if you guys are interested. Anyway, let's get into building. All right, so here we are on my flat world. Now guys, I am gonna be building this on the flat. It's just a lot easier to show you guys where the blocks are and uh, rather than building underwater. But uh, yeah, in this intro section, we're gonna be talking about the length, the width, uh, where you'd be building it if you're building it in dark, etc., and so forth, all those bits. And also if you're building it underneath the water, where you need to build that, where you need to place the uh, the first couple blocks underneath the water. So. <laughs> Let's get on to that part first. So the white layer that we've got here, this layer here, now it does bend up because that is what happens on uh, on ships. So this is the actual layer that we've got which is underwater. So what does that actually mean? Well, if your water block or water water is right there, uh, you're going to place a block down one, two, three, four. So four blocks and then that is going to be where our upper slab is going to be. So that's the first layer of actually... It's a little bit different than most of my other ships with this one, being that it does actually have slabs at the bottom, uh, just to kind of, admittedly, make it a tiny little bit bigger on the, uh, on the on the bottom part of it. So that's where you're going to be going, so four blocks from your water, so make sure you've got it right next to your water block there. Okay, so let's get rid of that, because that's the, uh, always the one that everybody asks. The next is going to be how long and wide and high it is, and where would you actually build it in in, in relation to, say, a dock or anything like that. So the ship itself is 44 blocks long. That is from the rudder, right at the back here, and also uh, the actual cabin part of it. All the way to the bow sprit right here. So that's how long it is, 44 blocks in total. So it depends on how you're going to be docking this one, if you are going to be docking it, and where you actually want this part to be. But if you guys want to know where the front part of the ship is, let's say this part right here, that is, going back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks. So 14 blocks is to there from the front of that. And we will I will be going over this square in a minute because it's a really good technique. It's also 39 blocks high in total. So that's going all the way up to the top. And it's 15 blocks wide. That includes the masts. Now without the masts, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, yes, yeah, so it's nine blocks wide because uh, this bit sticks out. So nine blocks wide for the actual main part of the hull. So if you are, uh, you know, putting, uh, having it, having it kind of docked, then you'll probably end up with your dock here, and then and put some wood going across, like some slabs or something like that. So that's where you'd be going in general. So that should help. Uh, now this one doesn't have the sails on it, but I will be doing sails uh, as part of this tutorial as well. Uh, sails do push out the ship usually you'll come out by a couple extra blocks on either side uh, because I haven't got that it's kind of a bit of a guesstimate but it usually is anyway right so I guess the only other thing is yeah this box so yeah this box is 44 blocks long and it is um, 15 blocks wide so I'm gonna be using this box it's really useful I found it quite useful in other tutorials uh, to actually use and again with your water level when you've got one two three and four make sure that it is on the fifth block down if you're going to build it underneath the water but it will help you it'll help uh, kind of write everything that's going on and you, you'll kind of understand what the size of everything is going on there um, it, it just kind of helps quite a lot so I think that is it for the intro section I guess the only other thing is yet yeah, the back part of it if you're doing it at the back of the block uh, box and you're having the you know your main dock facing out this way the rudder is right on the back of this box so that kind of might help you guys out and again if you build the box and you're measuring everything from there you can then build this box pre of exactly where you want it uh, with an idea of those measurements that I've told you and then you can go from there but anyway let's get on to layer number one okay and now for layer number one what we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to be just laying out these blocks here in the middle to find exactly where our starting point is for the ship again if you're using the box and you've got the ship the other way around you can at least use the box exactly the same way to get this to fit in the way you want so from this box what we're going to be doing and again, if you're just building it wherever you want to build it, you can ignore all this, this measurement stuff. Um, but what we're going to be doing from here is going to be going eight blocks over. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
and then from this block and counting this block we're going to go back with 21 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place a block every other one so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one in total so we're just going to play, uh, well, going to first grab our smooth quartz. Now I've gone with white underneath. You can also go with wood if you wanted to. So pick any wood if you did want to, or you can go with a nice kind of like painted white type of thing. I'm just going to place a block next to this one because this is where our first slab is going to be. And it's going to be on the upper piece. So we can now get rid of that. Then going back, this is actually going to be a total of five blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, five. What we're then going to do is we're going to go out at a diagonal like this. So we've still got those five blocks, we've just gone diagonally to that one. And we've got eight going back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's eight blocks in total. Then we're gonna come in. So we can go diagonal. And that's just gonna be three upper, uh, upper slabs. So one, two, and three like that. So three, eight, and then five. Then we'll do the same on the other side, but we can also fill in at the same time. So we might as well just fill this middle bit in. Just like that. And that is it for layer number one. So on top of that one, going back from there, and this gets you the starting point. So let's get on to layer number two. All right, and now for layer number two. So what we're gonna do guys is you're gonna need a couple extra blocks. You're gonna need smooth quartz stairs, white concrete, dark oak fence, dark oak slab, and also planks. So this is just for the rudder for the, the wood parts of it. So first things first, what we're gonna do is from here, we're gonna come forwards with our uh, white concrete block, and we're gonna go forwards with three blocks in total. So one, two, and three like that. So that's where we're gonna go from there. We're going to switch over to our slab and just have an upper slab on this piece like that. Then we're going to leave this block and then on this block we're going to have an upper slab. Then we're going to have two blocks behind it of your white concrete like that. Then on this one we're going to have, on, on this last one here, we're going to have a slab going out to the side. Then we're going to have four white concrete blocks. One, two, three and four like that. And just on the inside here. Yes, you can do uh, slabs if you wanted to, but I always find whenever doing the interior uh, it's easy to have blocks because you can just put, you know, chests, barrels, things like that on blocks. So just going over to the other side, what we're going to do is move on to this one here. Then place an upper slab. Then behind that, you can have two blocks. One, two. There you go. Just double checking from the other side. And then you can have a slab on coming out onto the side of that one again on the upper slab. You can have four blocks behind this. One, two, three, and four. And just on the inside here, just fill this up like that. Now with my one, I've done a lot of variation. It's one thing to note, um, yeah, because of the smooth quartz being the only real slabs we've had, if we get white concrete uh, slabs and stairs, it'd be awesome in the future, but at the moment we don't. So the easiest way is to mix in some of the smooth quartz blocks with it to then make it look um, kind of like it's part of the, the paint coming off or something like that, you know, it's absolutely fine. Anyway, what we're going to do from here is we're going to have two slabs on the side of the last two blocks we've got. So we go one, two, then we're going to have seven blocks going back from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Now, one thing we've got is a slab right in the middle of this. It's really bizarre, and it's actually just this one here. So when I was looking at the plan, I was like, this seems bizarre and odd, but it is actually on there as that part. So that's where you get that slab there. Let's do the same on the other side. So from here, we get the two slabs on the side of this one. One, two. Then we get seven blocks going back from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then right in the middle of that, we're going to have a smooth quartz slab. So we've got right in the middle of those, so three blocks, three blocks on either side. Then again, we can fill up the side bit here as well. There we go. So when we get onto the back, what we're going to do is right here, we're going to have two upper slabs. Then behind that, in terms of blocks, we're going to actually have five blocks. So one, two, three, four, and five, like that. Just going behind that, so you can see that there. Then what we're going to do on the back of this one is we're going to have an upper slab, right on there. Then behind this, we're going to have a block, and we're going to go back with another block as well. We just get two blocks there, like that. Now we're going to switch over to a stair and have an upside down stair. Then right where you get to your midline now, this is where we're going to have a block going across. Then we're going to have an upside down stair. Now we go over to our dark oak fence. We place the fence down there as part of the connecting rudder piece. I actually quite like this, how it doesn't connect completely. Um, and then you have two 
dark oak planks which should bring you right to the outside of this line here. And then underneath this, we're actually going to put in two dark oak slabs. Didn't do it as part of this one because then you have to count a load of blocks and it is just a bit of a pain. So, right, let's get on to the other side for this and just continue this, uh, can I finish this one up? So what we got on the back of this one is two uh, upper slabs on that outer block, like that. Behind this, we're going to have five blocks just joining onto the last lot. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. So you have three blocks shown from the side like that. Then we're going to have one upper slab. Behind this, we're going to have two blocks. So that one's showing, and that one's going there. Then we have an upside down stair just on the back like that. So now what we get to do, we've got all these blocks in here, well we just fill them in. And again, you can do it as slabs on the lower piece or whatever, but uh, I just found it wasn't useful. You can also feel free to, you know, change it after the fact and, and extend this uh, slab piece if you wanted to, to give yourself a little bit more room. It's totally up to you guys. You know, it is underwater, so people aren't going to notice it as much. So if the shape isn't perfect, then, uh, then that's fine. And again, vary it as well if you want to, guys. But that is it for layer number two. All right, and now for layer number three. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to place a white concrete block directly on top of the uh, upper slab that we had previously. Then we're going to put a upside down quartz stair, a smooth quartz stair, on the front of this one, like that. Then right on the side of this, we're going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair. We're going to have two blocks behind this, one and two. Then we're going to switch over to our smooth quartz slab and we're just going to have that on the side of the last block, so right here. We're going to have another two blocks behind, one and two. Then we're going to switch back over to our smooth quartz slab and put that right on the side of this one on the upper again. Then we're going to have five blocks behind this, one, two, three, four and five. Then on the last two of these, we're going to have upper slabs. Then we're going to have five blocks, so behind this, so one, two, three, four, five, which is where that slab then is covered and should be directly in the middle. That's why you, how you'll know that you've done it correctly. That's what should be going on. So there we go. So just to reiterate this one, it's uh, this is quite a difficult ship. Um, upside down stair, then two blocks. Right on the side of here, you get a upper slab, then two blocks, then upper slab going on the side, then five blocks. And the last two of those have upper slabs. And you get five blocks, which puts this directly in the middle. So we're going to do the same on the other side. So right here where we've got that block, we do an upside down stair. Then we're going to have two blocks just behind that. Switch over to your slab, put an upper slab in on the side here. Then we're going to have two blocks behind that. Then we're going to put in another upper slab here. Then we're going to have five blocks going back. One, two, three, four, and five. And then the last two of these blocks here, we're going to have two slabs in there. Then we're going to have five blocks going back. One, two, three, four, five. And again, if that slab that you put on the bottom layer is right in the middle of this five block, then you've done it right. So that's the, the way to know. So if we go back onto the other side, we'll now move in to the back piece. What we're going to do is we're going to have an upper slab on the back here, just like that. Then behind this, so this is where we get... So it's always difficult to explain this where we get blocks here. But behind this, you're going to end up having four blocks going back. So one, two, three, and four, like that. So it just stick over by one there. We're then going to have an upper slab on this piece here. Then behind that, again, we're going to have a block. We're going to have four in total, so that's already one, two, three, and four. And again, you get block, slab, block. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to put a slab on the top of this one. So you can kind of see how the shape kind of works its way out. Then what we're going to do is just have a block on the back of this one and a block on the back of this one. Grab your stair. We're going to put in just an upside down stair right here on the back. Now usually they actually go completely flat. I just wanted to do something a little bit different and actually put in um, a stair instead because I, I wanted this to, to not join. But you could if you wanted to, you guys, just have a plain block. I just It was me wanting to make it look a little bit better. So that's how you get that going on. So let's do it on the other side. So right on this five block that we've got going back, we put a upper slab. Then behind this, we're going to have four blocks. So one, two, three, and four like that. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to switch over to our slab again. We're going to have an upper slab. And we're going to have another four blocks going on, on the back piece here. So one, two, three, and four. 
then what we're going to do on top of this stair right here, we're going to end up having a... Actually, I think we have a slab first. Yeah, sorry. We have an upper slab here first. Then we have a block on top of the upside down stair that we have previously. We're just putting an upside down stair on the side here to curve that in. So a lot of this shape wise is just to do with smoothing out. Um, it's easier actually to show it on the completed one. Um, but as you can see here, like we're moving down and up, making these nice kind of circular uh, kind of patterns going up to the ship. All of it is about that. Um, and yes, it is a pain to come up with the design and get the shape right, but you know, it's fine. So that's all we're doing here. So we're getting block slab, sl uh, block slab, and then it goes up to like stairs. So that's all the shape is. And unfortunately, it makes it a little bit complicated. But we're doing good, guys. So um, yeah, let's get on to layer number four. All right, and now for layer number four. So what we're gonna do, guys, go right to the front again, as always. Gonna place a white con concrete block directly on top of that upside down stair that we've did before. Then we're gonna have an upside down smooth quartz stair. Then what we're going to do is right on that block, we're going to have an upside down stair like that. And then what we'll do is just have a block behind it. Then an upside down smooth court stair against that block again. Then we're going to have two blocks behind this one, one and two like that. So we basically got these stepping back stairs. It's just that we have to put in blocks in order to make it work. So that's all that's really going on. Again, you can put in, you know, slabs and everything in these bits just to cover up that small, small gap. But um, I just find for interiors, you need full blocks in order to put stuff on. Uh, but again, it's totally up to you guys. And I would advise doing it as you're doing the layer by layer stuff, you know, having a look at like these ones. If you wanted to do that to, to maximize space, then feel free to do so. Anyway, so we've got that stair and then two, two blocks going on the side there. We're then going to have a smooth quartz slab just on the side of that one. And there's going to be three blocks behind this. So one, two, and three like that. Then we're going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair. And then 11 blocks behind this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Going out like that. So that's what we get there. So quite a long, quite a long stretch of the main kind of like part of the hole uh, here. Because we're now gone as wide as we're going to go for it. So if we go onto the other side, what we're going to do here is we're going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair just on the side of that block. One block behind it. Then we're going to have another smooth quartz stair upside down again. This time with two blocks behind it, one and two. Then we're going to go over to our smooth quartz slab, put an upper slab on the side, uh, on the side of this one. Then we're going to have three blocks behind it, one, two and three like that. Then we're going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair with 11 blocks going back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 like that. So if we go over to the other side to complete the back, then we'll do the exact same again. What we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down stair. So smooth court stair. Behind this, we're going to have three blocks. So where you've got this block here, so we're going to have 1, 2, and 3 like that. Then we're going to have an upside down smooth court stair. Then we're going to have four blocks. One, two, three, and four. So you're on top of that slab like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a smooth court stair going this way, just like normal. We're going to have a block on top of this one. Then we're going to have a smooth court stair going this way this time. So it's going the other way, so it's not going, not going on the back at all. It's going across the side like that. Now one thing I forgot on the last layer is the rudder. So what we're going to do is going to put in... Um, your fence just underneath this one and then put a block in there we're gonna have two blocks of dark oak planks then at the back we're gonna have a dark oak stair then a block like this and should we finish it up yeah why not we're gonna do we're gonna skip to the next layer just for this tiny block here i say we're gonna skip to the next layer we're not really but yeah just put a dark oak slab just on top of that one there so let's continue this on so what we're gonna do right at the back Gonna have an upside down stair. Then we're gonna have three blocks going back. So behind this, it's easier to see it from here, I guess. One, two, three. So it goes on top of the slab that we got here. Then we're gonna have an upside down stair. Then we're gonna have four blocks behind. So one, two, three, four, and then top again of that slab. Then we're gonna have a smooth court stair here. A block right on top of that bit there. We're going to have a smooth quartz block going to the side here, right to the side. 
So it's all part of kind of like building up this bit for the cabin. Like that. And that is it guys for layer number four. All right, and now for layer number five. So what we're gonna do guys is go to the front and we're gonna place a block directly on top of that upside down stair, just like we've been doing before. This time we're gonna do a stair going onto the side. So not on this way, but onto the side. So the other way around. So this is where it gets a bit more rounded uh, on the ship. As you can see this bit next here. So that's what's going on with that. So we're gonna just, yeah, put that onto both of those sides. Uh, just like that. We're then going to put a block directly behind that one. Just like that. Grab your ups, uh, your smooth quartz <laughs> stair. And put an upside down right on that block there. Then put two blocks in. One, two. Then we're going to have another upside down stair. Just going on the outside of this one. Then we're going to have one block. Now we're going to switch over dark to dark oak planks. With my one, I've gone for uh, white and dark oak. Just like a little layer of dark oak. And then I've gone for spruce. Again, you can change it up as much as you want. If you want to do like a coloured part of this, uh, you know now, especially when we've got the new uh, funky wood, you know, crimson and uh, crimson and warped, feel free to use those. But for me, I'm going to go with dark because I wanted mine quite plain looking. So that's what I'm going to go for this. So we get a dark oak block right behind this one here. Then we're going to go out. I'm going to have 15 blocks of your dark oak plank. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 like that. So it should just go over by one block from the last layer. Then we might as well uh, continue and finish up the back because it gets a little bit easier now. So we're going to place a block just on top of this one, so the dark oak there. Then we're going to have a white block of concrete behind that. Upside down, smooth quartz stair. And then what we're going to do is going to have four blocks. So again, where well, you've got your stair gap there. One, two, three, and four. Like that. We're going to have a stair going this way again. So going out to the side. And then we're going to have three blocks in the back here, one, two, and three, like that. So it just goes across really nice and flat. So let's fly around to the other side and get this all sorted out. So what we've got here is a block directly on top of the last layer right there. Then an upside down stair on the side of this one. Then we've got two blocks behind that. Then another upside down stair right on the side of it. Then we've got a block. Then we're gonna switch over to dark oak planks and just have one block behind that one. Then we're going to go out, and this is going to be 15 blocks going total, uh, going back to in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, like that. So sticking over by one block. Then moving inwards, we're going to have one block of your dark oak, then one block of white con concrete, and then you're going to have an upside down uh, smooth quartz stair. Then behind this, we're going to have four blocks, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And just on this corner here, we're going to have a stair going this way. To the side like that, where it's starting to flatten it all out. You could, if you wanted to as well, switch this one over to a slab. If you wanted to kind of have more of a, a gentle uh, kind of curve on it, rather than, than the stairs. But it's totally up to you. It's always easier once you've actually done it. If you want to make any tweaks, do it then. Right then, so that is it for layer number five. So guys, we are now done with this white layer that goes all around here. So it's all going to be... We're going to have a couple more layers, kind of almost there on the hull of the ship, really. So let's keep going. All right, and now for layer number six. So you guys are going to need a couple more materials. I'm actually going to do a little bit of reorganizing myself. So you are going to need dark oak stairs and planks, because uh, we're going on to that most of that layer. Uh, you're also going to need spruce slabs, spruce stairs, and spruce planks. Again, if you want to change the colors up, feel free to do so. You know, variate it however you want. Um, but those are the materials that I'm going to be using, so remember which ones you switched out. So first things first, what we're going to do, if you just place a block directly on top of the last one here, we're then going to go forwards with an upside down and dark oak stair and then get rid of that block because it's just by itself. On either side of this, there's going to be a dark oak plank just on direct, uh, directly on top of the last uh, couple of blocks, just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down stair on the side of this, like that. Then a block behind. Uh, actually, we're going to go with two blocks, sorry, two blocks behind, one, two. Then you're going to have an upside down dark oak stair on the side of this one. Three blocks behind this, one, two, and three, so putting it directly on top of the last dark oak. We're going to then have two blocks of spruce planks, one and two, like that. Then with our spruce stair, we're going to have a normal stair this time, right on the side of this block here. So what we end up getting is like a stair, then a block, then a stair going back. It's not the best kind of circular pattern, but it 
kind of works. So you can always, you know, if you wanted to and didn't like this, knock that one out, move that one back. Uh, I just didn't for whatever reason. So now what we're going to do with our spruce planks is go back with 11 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're just going to go around to the front on this side and do the same thing. So we've got an upside down dark oak stair right next to that block there. So this is where it's a little bit weird with this one. Then we have two blocks behind that, one and two of your dark oak. Switch back over to upside down and dark oak stairs, put that one in there, right on the side. Then we're going to have three blocks, one, two, three, which brings you directly on top of that last one there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two spruce planks behind this. And then just on that last spruce plank, we're going to have a stair of spruce. So your spruce uh, plank stair. Then we're going to have 11 blocks of spruce planks behind that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like that. There we go. So on the back, we're going to have another spruce stair, just like that. Switch back over to your dark oak planks. And I think we're going to have five blocks. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, five blocks. So there we go. So five blocks behind that. Then we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair. Then behind this, we're going to have four blocks of dark oak. So one, two, three, and four like that. And then actually this is going to go all the way around the back as well. So it's just straight across the back. The only thing that's on the back that's different is three spruce slabs right on there on the upper piece. So this is part of, as you can see here, just the kind of um, uh, framing, framing of the uh, of the back piece, I guess you could call it. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll call it framing, whatever. Um, so it's just part of this. You can always, again, change up the colors or whatever you want to do. Um, you know, it's totally up to you guys. So there we go. Put that in there. So let's do the same on the other side. So we have spruce stair right on the back here. Then what we're going to do is go over to dark oak planks and we're going to have five going back here. So one, two, three, four, and five, like that. Upside down dark oak stair right on the back there. Then we're just going to have planks going around the back piece like that. Nice and super simple. So we're actually not going to get onto layer number seven. We're first going to do the deck. So we're going to be doing something slightly different. Just going to be putting in this deck piece here because we now can. All right, so now we're going to put in the lower deck. So what you're going to need for this, guys, is an oak slab, oak trapdoor, uh, stripped dark oak wood, which is what I use for the masts, and also a ladder as well. So with your oak slab, what we're going to do, if we come around to the front, we're going to have upper slabs first, and we're just going to have one here, then three going across here like that. Super duper simple. We're then going to have a lower set of slabs, so just going around here. You'll notice we're not on this upper level. It's just that the back actually does got that way. So we've got lower slabs here. Bring more lower slabs going around. We're actually going to put in the mast now. So just got that going across there. Where you've got this dark oak um, kind of blocks here, this is where you're going to find the middle. Which is just going to be that block there. And just build up a couple blocks like that. Put in a ladder going onto that. So then at least when you do get into the hold, you can then grab onto the ladder. You can go up and... When we put in the stairs, uh, I could put in the, the slabs, we'll be able to actually do something with that. So slabs just around this mast here, like this. And we're going to go one more on the side of these ones. So build that over like that. And then right on the edge, we're just going to have two slabs here. So two slabs there. Yeah, it's not very useful with these uh, full blocks. But if you did want to, you could always, well, you can flip out one of them if you wanted to. If you wanted to have like what looks like more space than you actually have. But I'm going to keep it as full blocks uh, for simplicity. Just makes it a lot easier uh, for you guys to follow, I find. So, we're now going to go down another one. So you're on the upper slab of the white layer. Bring this all the way across, like that. And just in the back here, we're going to have these three slabs. So then you've got this kind of, um, this bowed pattern where it's out at the sides and starts to make its way up, gently. Uh, it is an over-exaggeration on what actually happens on ships, but... Um, it, you know, it'll do. And it depends on the ships as well. So some, well, the ships that I've seen have usually got a bow like that on the on the back deck. But it does feel gently like you're going down and then going up again. Uh, but because it's Minecraft, it looks a lot better if we over over exaggerate it. So that's what's going on. Right. Anyway, so what we're going to do is from this uh, level here. So we've got that going across here. We're going to put in. Let's just put in some blocks for the time being. So we're going to have some blocks up here. We're just going to go six blocks, two, three, four, five, and six. This is where we switch over to our oak trap doors. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's on the lower piece of that. 
so that it just sticks up slightly. Um, I just always think it looks a lot better. So again, one, two, three, four, four, five, and six, not there. And then another set as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Knock that out and get rid of that there. There we go. So now what we can do is with the um, with your slabs, just bring that in line with that. And do the same on the other side. So there we go. So this is where you can get your cargo type stuff through. And feel free to, you know, if you want it to open, then flap the whole thing open. Or it could just be that it, it, it's actually rope that's going across the whole thing. Uh, so at least then you've got this in here. And you can see now you've got the hold as well. Uh, there's a little bit of space. I can't remember how much space is on this deck. I'm pretty sure it's pretty cramped, but it is walkable in um, in Minecraft at least. So what we'll do now is with your slabs, we'll bring these across again to the back of this one. Then on the side, this one's going to be on the lower slab for the next block. So it's going to be on the lower slab for the next block. And then behind this one, we're just going to bring this across like that. And then these here are all going to be lower slabs. Just like that. So that's what's going on there. Then what we're going to do is, I'm just having a quick look. We've got three slabs in the middle of this one. So three slabs right there. And that's when we get our oak. Oh, sorry, dark oak. Dark oak, uh, stripped dark oak um, block going up. So we just bring it, let's bring it up to there, why not? So we bring it up to there for the time being. Then that will at least uh, kind of do. So we've got that there. Um, what we'll now do... Sorry, it's really complicated for me to try and figure out what's even going on with this thing. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have the upper slab here. And then this is going to go around. So you can leave that block, to be fair. Just bring this around here. So don't go underneath that one. You might want to put a chest or something in there. Uh, because you can. <laughs> no other reason than because you can. So what we'll now do behind this, now that we've got that up, is put another layer in behind. So one, two, three, four, and five with your slabs there. Then in the middle, we're going to have three of those slabs. We now can get rid of, well, we can get rid of the ladder and we can get rid of the stripped dark oak. We're actually going to get dark oak fence, gate, and fence. There we go. So right here, we're going to put in a dark oak fence. Now, what is this? Well, it's to do with the wheel so that this system, this dark oak fence, then goes down and it goes into there and it will uh, actually join up with the rudder. So in order for us to make it join up with the rudder, what we actually do is underneath here, put in our dark oak fences. And I think this is right, but it might not be. Yeah, I don't think that is. I think it's up another layer from this, so let's go for that. So right here, on your white one, put in that there. There we go, this looks better. So that will then go to there. So imagine the system, you know, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but ropes basically come in with a load of pulleys. They then go into here, the pulleys then go onto there, and it's, it's this crazy kind of like pulley system, basically. Um, and bigger ships would have like these gigantic wheels, so loads of people would actually have to turn them. So yeah, pretty pretty good for your arms though. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have the lower slabs just from this block here, bring them forwards and bring that all in. Go over that fence gate part, just like that. And then this bottom free by oh this bottom this free uh, this oh good god this top part here this back part here that's what I'm trying to get to. These are just upper slabs. So it's just a three by three square of upper slabs. I'll get there eventually. Good God. Right, so there you go. That gives you the deck part of it. So that's how it kind of works up. Um, so it's not as bowed at the front or it's not as um, bowed, I guess is the right word, angled. Whereas at the back, it is quite a lot. And the good thing about that is that then that means your captain's cabin, which uh, I've only got the captain's cabin on this model, but you know, is actually up and feels where you've uh, in the right place. Uh, and it also means that your cargo deck, so you're having a look at this, so it's not actually that cramped at all on this level. Um, you have actually got a bit of a cargo deck. Now ignore, there's a couple of slabs missing from here, but yeah, that is correct at least. So that's it guys for the lower deck uh, level. So let me fly out of here. Now we'll get on to layer number seven. All right, and now for layer number seven. So guys, come right to the front and place a block directly on top of the last layer with your dark oak. And on the sides of this, we're going to have a dark oak stair and another dark oak stair like that. We're then, right on top of the last upside down stair, we're going to place just a dark oak, um, yeah, dark oak block on top of the last stair. Then another block behind that one. 
Then we're going to switch over to our spruce stairs and we're going to have an upside down spruce stair on the side of this. Now we're going to do a little bit of pattern work because, um, well, let's just make this little groove here. Um, I just like putting these on the ships, it just makes them look a little bit more interesting. I like the detail. So we're going to put in a stair going this way, just normal. And then we're going to have one on the side. By normal I mean not upside down. <laughs> just to make, <laughs> make that clear. So then you've got those two stairs there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have 21 blocks of spruce going back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, and 20, 21. Now I'm going to have to make sure that that's on top of that because I miscounted a couple of bits. Yeah, it is. So it's on top of the... Much easier. On top of that dark oak one there. That's all it is. So then what we're going to do with our slabs is we're going to leave two blocks from the back here. And then we're going to put spruce slabs on top. So there's going to be nine of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which leaves you right up to here. That doesn't look right. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one block. Sorry, guys. Not two blocks. One block. Move that over. So I better check because that just didn't look right at all. So there we go. That's what we get. That is much better. Cool. Let's get on to the other side now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a block on top of that last uh, upside down dark oak. One block going back. Switch over to your spruce stairs and do an upside down spruce stair here. We're then going to have a normal spruce stair going this way. And then going around here so it wraps around. Then we're just going to place a load of spruce planks until we're on top of the last one. The last uh, the last block here. There we go. So it's not sticking over, it's not going back or anything like that. It just is what it is. Nice and simple. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to put in where the shrouds are. Uh, not where the shrouds are, but where the... I forgot what they're called. The things that the shrouds sit on. Those things. And it's going to be onto this spruce uh, planks block right here. We're going to have an upside down dark oak stair. But then we're going to have two dark oak slabs going back, and another dark oak stair, like that. So same on the other side, so dark oak stair, two dark oak slabs, and then another dark oak stair. Nice and simple like that. So when we come around to right at the back here, what we're going to do is, it's going to be a little bit weird. We're going to have, uh, and it's because of the windows that we get and me trying to make the interior look fancier, uh, we're going to have a spruce block right here. Then we're going to have a spruce stair going this way, then a block, like that. So we get block, block, spruce stair in like that. But then going to have a jungle stair upside down here, then a jungle slab, then another upside down jungle stair like that. Upside down jungle stair, upside down jungle stair, and then a jungle slab in the back, just like that. And I'm already thinking, oh my god, what's going on with this next bit? Right, now for the back, which is quite complicated. Uh, it'll be my second attempt now. So what we're going to do, guys, spruce stair upside down on the side of this one. So upside down on the side of that one. We're then going to have in here a normal stair. Then another stair here. Then we're going to have a stair going this way this time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down stair on this one, like that with a spruce slab going out. We're going to have a lower slab here, then again an upside down spruce stair, and then a spruce slab like that. So you get this kind of um, multi-layered kind of shape going on in order to make this. Now if you wanted to switch out this material, uh, feel free to do so. You know, you could do it all in um, jungle if you wanted to. So you could just switch out most of this stuff for jungle if you really wanted to. I mean, it's totally up to you. You can do some layering, you can do different colors. Birch as well looks really good with that, but at least that has given us this very strange thing going on with a load of different stairs going in different directions. But guys, that is it for layer number 7. Alright, and now for layer number 8. What we're going to do guys, right on the front, is place a dark oak uh, planks block directly on top of the last layer, and then have a dark oak stair going forwards from that. We're now going to have a dark oak slab right on top of the last kind of stair that we had, like that. And behind this, we're going to put in a spruce plank and then bring this across the side as well, like that. So there and across to the side, like that. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have an upper dark oak, um, dark oak slab on, the block, on that block and also another one on the side here, like that. 
and switch back over to our spruce stairs. We're going to have a normal spruce stair going this way. Then we're going to have a spruce slab. Then a spruce stair going that way. Just like that. Then what we're going to do is going to do a spruce stair going this way. And then one going that way. So we get these, like, a big gap, then a smaller gap. That's all melding in with everything else that's going on with this thing. So, same on the other side. So we get a dark oak slab on the upper piece. Then on the upper piece on this one. Switch to our spruce slab. Have the spruce slab going this way. Doing a uh, spruce stair, sorry. Spruce stair going that way. Then we have a spruce slab. Then we have a spruce stair going that way. Then we get a spruce stair going that way. And one going this way. Lots and lots of stuff. So we get sl uh, stair, slab, stair, stair, stair. Basically is what's going on. Is what's going on there. We're then going to have two blocks of spruce planks behind that. Like this. So one and two. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we can put in bits of the deck. So for this, what we're going to do is with... We're actually going to end up having a dark oak plank behind this one. But if we grab our oak slabs, we're going to have these going across here. Five of them there. Then another five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then just on the edges, we're going to have one slab here. One slab here like that. And then we're on to the lower slab. Like that. So lower slabs here. Uh, we can actually bring this up as well. So we're going to bring the uh, dark oak, um, stripped, stripped dark oak up. And we're actually going to put on top of it a barrel. So you can either use a barrel or you can use a composter. Um, some people have been using composters and I've used them on a couple ships and I don't really mind which ones go with which. It's just to make it look like the heavier kind of reinforced part of the uh, masts that you get. And if you again if you if you go and see a ship you'll kind of see what we're trying to recreate with that. So there we go, we get that in there anyway. Um, and we can also bring that ladder up right to there. Um, and we're actually gonna grab a spruce trapdoor, knock that out, put that in there, so we now have the way up. So just on the sides of these, we're gonna put in our slabs like that. And I believe I am going to have to have a look. Yeah, so that goes right onto the sides of those as well. So right on the sides here, we also have those there. And just bring one forwards like that. And the other ones are going to be underneath this here. We just bring that across there like that. For the central bit, might as well get this done as well. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to need an oak trap door. And we're also going to need a spruce slab. So we've got some on the side here. So we're going to have a, a spruce slab on the upper piece, just going across with six, two, three, four, five, six. And we can put those oak slabs just on the side here. So it's just to kind of reinforce it rather than anything else. Um, but there's no reason. You can, of course, have it the same as below here. But that then should line up exactly with that. And we can then, across this, just bring those lower slabs in as well. Just like that. So then we've got the front part of that done. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just get rid of a couple of these. We're actually going to get oak fence and oak fence gate. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to have, there's going to be basically eight blocks in total. I'm pretty sure two of them, yeah, the central two are going to be our fence gate. So we go one, two, uh, one, two, three even, <laughs> one, two, three. Then we're going to have uh, two fence gates, one, two, then one, two, three with your fence gates there. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, like that, for your fence gate. So this is just the roped part so that they can get cargo on and off quite easily by just, you know, opening this up. But of course, you just blow that up and have your uh, kind of like plank type thing across there. Uh, we'll put the guns on um, after we've got most of the deck done because we can do all of those in one go. So that's the plan to do that. Right. So, the next part we're going to do is, just off the back of these stairs, we're going to have six uh, blocks of spruce. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. Switch over to your spruce stairs. We're going to have a spruce stair going this way, then this way, then this way. So, it just kind of wraps around again. It's more of a detail type thing going on. Behind this, we're going to have a block. Now, what I had on mine, and we're going to grab a couple blocks here, Grab your dark oak fence and also grab a window block. Uh, you can have a colored window or you can go for a normal one. Let's go for a colored one, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to go for white, nice and plain. So you've got block there. Going to put your white stained glass or whatever stained glass block in there. We're then going to have a block of spruce on the side here. 
And they're going to have a spruce stair going on the side of this one. Then at the back, we're going to have three blocks of your stained glass. This is where it makes it look interesting. And from the inside, you can kind of now see why those stairs are in there. It's purely just to make it look a little bit more fancier, bigger, or whatever. And now what we'll do is we'll have a dark oak fence on here, on here. Right on the back, we also have it on this one, and we also have it on this one. So we're just going to do the same on the other side. Let's do it, do it properly. So we have uh, those six blocks behind this uh, oak fence. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have a stair going this way. Wrap it around and wrap it around to complete it. Then just back here, we have a block, window, block. Then we have these dark oak fences here, like that. And I'm pretty sure on my one, the one that I've actually got docked up, I've actually made this whole back piece jungle. Uh, but we'll have a look at that as part of the interior tour. You guys can see if you want that. So again, put your stair in here. And I'm really glad that they now connect onto these stairs as well. It's really cool. Um, I think I only noticed that when I was just playing around with this. So we also need, before I forget, a jungle trapdoor. So I can't remember if I put it on the back. I don't think I did. But on the side windows, just put in a jungle trapdoor. Or any other trapdoors. Um, all of them look pretty good. And yeah, with my one, I ended up having it like, open with the glass. I think I've got like a light grey or, or grey or something, so you can hardly see out the back of it. But I made it quite open. But you could, of course, do something, and you can even pattern it, you know, with the trapdoors going up and down and, you know, mess around with it that way. But it's totally up to you guys, really, uh, what you actually do with it. So that is there, like that. We're actually going to do the deck, because uh, this one moves up so quickly, rather than doing it in little stages, we'll do it as one big piece. Uh, once we've got to the back of this one, but we've done the front deck because it's nice and simple. So let's get on to the next layer. All right, and now for layer number nine. So what I'm going to do is tweak this back piece a little bit and just switch it over to um, jungle first. So it's just going to be the outside pieces that we're going to be doing here. For example, this stair going here, this block here, this stair here, oops, there, and that block there. So I'm just going to be doing a couple little bit of switches to bring it in line with my other model because for some reason I must have just missed off that back block there uh, when copying it over. So if we come around to the front what we're going to do is place a block directly on top of the last one. Then we're going to have to come forwards and have an upper slab here. And then we're going to have an a lower slab there. So we've got lower slab, upper slab going on here. And then we're going to have a lower slab on the sides of these two like that. Then just behind this we're going to place a block down. So this is just on the center line. Then we're going to have a slab right here like that. You can continue the dark oak going down until you hit this mast. Uh, it's actually what I did on mine. So if I show you what that looks like. You then end up just kind of bringing this down into here. Uh, I might as well show you that. Since I've just shown you guys that, I might as well just continue with, uh, with going with that thing. So what you do here is you'd have a block. You're then going to end up, because you're going to try and have a slab and a slab going down here, you'll end up with this one just being a block, because always it looks strange up, up above. And we're going to do the same here, slab and slab. And we're going to have a, sorry, that's a block, sorry. Block, then we get a slab with a slab there. You just kind of layer it going in, I guess. Uh, so then it just has somewhere to attach to it, and ends up with this kind of like stripe here. So what we're going to do is, right on this corner block here, we're going to bring this in to an upside down spruce stair, and then a spruce slab. So upside down spruce stair, then a spruce slab. Then with our oak fence, just on top of these two here, we're going to have oak fence pieces. So oak fence pieces like that. We're then going to have a spruce plank block on top of the last one. Leave a gap because we're going to put a cannon in there. And then we're going to have an upside down spruce stair on the other side, just like that. Now I am have, going to have to have a look because I have kind of forgotten it's block and two slabs. That's the one. Um, this, this thing is getting very compl complicated. So then, yeah, you get a block, then two slabs. Right, there we go. That's what it looked like. Because my picture, I could see this, and I was going, how do I make an upside down stair there and make it look good? And it doesn't make any sense. So there we go. So again, on this side, upside down, a normal block on top of that stair. Leave a gap and have an upside down stair, spruce stair this time. There we go. Going in this way. So you've got this one block gap here where we're going to put in a nice cannon. We're going to have a block. And then two slabs just moving their way down just like that. There we go. So nice and complicated, but uh, that is what we're going on for. So if we go around to the back now, I'm just going to grab a jungle slab. Uh, actually, before we do that, we're going to do these uh, other bits first. So we're going to leave a block here. We're then going to have two spruce slabs. Then we're going to have four blocks. One, two, three, and four. Just like that. Now what we're going to do, I'm pretty sure it's... 
Oh, it's just a normal stair. There we go. It's an upside down stair here. Then a block. There we go. So that's what that pattern looks like. And then behind this, we're just going to have a block, upside down spruce uh, stair, then a block like that. Now we end up with a jungle slab, jungle stair, and jungle uh, slab. So you could get rid of that one if you wanted to, or could in fact actually do it this way around. That would look better. And it's probably what I've done on my one, I just can't see. So there we go, that's what we'll do there for that one. So we just kind of go over that, that side bit there. Then what we're going to do is, oh, I'm going to explain this one to you guys. <laughs> so what we'll do is we're going to end up having from here, upside down stair going this way and then wrap this all the way around just like that. And then we're going to end up with a jungle stair going this way, uh, sorry, not there, this way and this way and then have a slab, jungle slab just on top of that one. And then we can have a jungle slab on top of here and going back to here. So there and back to there. Let's just build this up on the other side. So we're going to have two spruce slabs, four blocks, two, three, four, upside down stair, a spruce block. We have a spruce block on top of the last ones here. And for this one, we're going to have an upside down stair on the inside like that. That looks pretty good. Um, I think I'm probably going to put a window on as well. I think where we go with these. Yeah, I'm going to put something in there. I think it needs something. Or even oak trap door. Put an oak trap door on the back of these. Because then it just has another another material in there and it just makes it look a little bit nicer, I think. So there we go. So that gives us all of that nice section in there. Now I have just realized that we missed out this bit here. Somehow I missed it out. So I apologize, guys. I also noticed that I've knocked, knocked, not knocked out a block, but we will do that. So we've got a block here. Knock out the block, this one here, right like that. Then go down one, we're going to have an upside down a dark oak stair, two slabs, then a dark oak stair in there, like that. Same on the other side, stair, stair, and two dark oak slabs, like that. So I'll go and have a quick look to see if we can put in the floor. I think we might be able to put in the floor next, so that might be the next layer. If not, we'll be building up uh, even more as we go. All right, so now we're going to get on to the kind of back part of it, the deck, because we can actually do that, which is good. It'll be a nice thing to finish up. So grab your oak slab. We're just going to bring this around on the same layer as before to this point here. Then in the middle of that, we're going to have three of the slabs. So three slabs in the middle of that one. Then we go to the next level, level which we're just going to go to the lower slab on the next one. And then bring this all the way around, just wrap it around like that. And then in the, in the middle of this one, three slabs. Actually also grab our uh, stripped dark oak and also going to grab a barrel as well. Why not? I'm going to shove this in here and we'll leave it like that for now because it just needs to stick out just a tiny bit so we know where it is uh, for when we do the, the next bit. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to have again a couple slabs going up again. So this is on the upper slab of the next level. It all should be the same as this barrel. Oops. Right to there. Going around just like that and then behind this we're going to have a nice five here going across there because we're going to have another cannon in here as we know so that brings it all nice and level then right in the middle three of these are going to be uh, in the middle part of it there like that with our dark oak fence we're going to bring this up now i think i am saying think i think i did an upside down stair on this bit so i think i've got a feeling i did something like this to connect it up like that. And then what we can do on top of this one is with our dark oak uh, fence is we can put a fence down and then put a grindstone in on the side there as a nice little wheel. I actually think it looks really good. I really like it. Seems to be one of my favorite like new blocks now, the grindstone. It's just very good. Um, so anyway, now what we've got is up here, just do it upper or lower even, sorry, lower slab, but next level up, you know what I mean. Going all the way around to that point. Right in the back, what we actually get is just an upper. So yeah, right in the back here, we do upper, but not this middle bit here. So not that middle bit here, knock that one out, and the rest of it is on the lower slab. So it's me getting confused about what is upper and what is lower now. It's a problem with slab work. Sometimes you can just get thrown off completely, especially when there's slabs in the rest of the build, like here and things like that. 
But that's why it looks good. So there we go, that's what we'll get for that. So now at least we've got the deck completed. And as you guys will see, the kind of uh, way that the, the back works, especially the reason it goes up so much is so that you get this captain's cabin then fits. So that's why I've had to push it up um, on both of the bits, actually, on, on this top bit and also on this bottom bit here to make that really look quite cool. But I'm pretty happy with how that's all turned out. So that's it for the deck section. So let's get on to the next bit. All right, and now for layer number 10. So what we're going to do is grab a couple of different blocks that I seemingly don't have, <laughs> which is going to be mostly your like spruce type blocks. So right above this one, we're going to have a spruce block like this. We're then going to have spruce slabs on top of these two layers here. These two bits here even. Just thickens this up so you've actually got a bit of a, a forecastle on this one. Um, and then what we're going to do is above this one we're going to have three different slabs. Three different slabs? Three slabs, not three different ones. That have to be different at all. They can be different if you want them to. Otherwise that would be fine. So that kind of gives you this protected area up here where you have a cannon here. You could potentially knock out one of these and have a cannon shooting forwards. Um, if you wanted to, they'd be pretty small cannons. But you, you could put a little cannon in there if you wanted to. Uh, emphasis on the little part. Anyway, right. So what we're going to do here is where we've got this gap where we're going to have a cannon in here, we're going to have two spruce uh, blocks going over the top here. Like that. Sorry, not spruce blocks. Spruce slabs, should I say. Spruce slabs over the top. We're going to have an upside down spruce stair here. Then a spruce slab. Then another upside down... I like how I'm placing everything everywhere. Another upside down spruce um, spruce stair in there, just like that. Then we're going to switch over to our jungle stairs, and we're going to have a jungle upside down jungle stair here. We're then going to leave a gap, but we're going to go over this time. So we're actually doing layers 10 and 11, but 11's only got about three blocks in it, so it's not too bad. It's the main hole. And then we're going to do another upside down stair in there like that. So you get this nice little archway, and that, that just fits a nice cannon in there, uh, quite simply. We're then going to have above this one an upper slab here. Of your jungle and on the side here an upside down stair put in our anvil which of course people know that I like for some reason I like putting anvils in these and I like framing them like this I just it just always looks quite cool so I, I like to do that so that's what I do so we're gonna have another jungle stair on the side there and just again we're gonna put a jungle slab on top as well so there you go you can see why I've switched over the jungle that looks a bit plain this looks a lot more interesting and, and I don't know it just it just adds something to the whole build so if we do the same on the other side now and finish this up, we're going to have two spruce slabs going over. Then upside down spruce sla stair. Then spruce slab. Upside down spruce stair. Switch over to our jungle. We're going to have, or we can put a jungle slab right here, for example. Then bring this forwards with our jungle stair. Put in a slab. Put in another jungle stair. Try not to punch out the blocks you've already placed that were correct. Definitely helps, but uh, sorry, that's wrong. Oof. Upper slab, upper slab, so we can have a cannon in there in a bit. There we go, and that gives us um, the hole, actually. That is completely done for the whole part of it. We've now got the, well, cannons, which I think we'll do next because they're quite fun. I'll show you how to get the player heads, and also if you don't have the player heads, then what to do, you'll notice some of them are missing. It's because I've put them back on post because uh, on my world... These are all being lifted off, they're being uh, unloaded, but uh, yeah, that's it for the main hull. So we'll do the cannons, we'll then do the masts, we'll do the shrouds, and then we'll do the sails, and we will then be done. But it sounds like quite a lot to do, and that's because it is. So anyway guys, let's keep going. Alright guys, so, player heads. Just to talk through this for what I've done for the cannon wheels, uh, I've used player heads for it. If you're in like survival or something like that, you can use skulls. So you can use like skeleton skulls, uh, or if you're really got a lot of materials and things uh, you could use wither skulls because they're they're black so they kind of work a little bit better for cannonballs. Uh, this is just one of many sites there's lots of sites out there Minecraft heads this is the one I use the most because I just find it it's got everything that I've ever needed um, so I've just searched for cannon and what you can see is cannon wheels so if you click on one of these player heads what you'll then get is the different various various bits of code in order to uh, bring those into your Minecraft world and it's got all the different versions 1.8 to 1.12 blah, blah 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 13 15 I'm on 1.16 so that's the one I'm going for and just click on copy and then you can go into uh, your Minecraft kind of place and I just go for give myself because I'm on a server uh, this is what I end up doing give myself a command block and grab yourself a button and what we can do is I can create this little command block here 
paste this in, usually what happens is when you press this, nothing happens. Um, so what you end up having to do is go back to the front of this and just do Minecraft colon give. And that's it. And then look, hey, we got a wheel. So now we can at least now we've at least got the wheel for the main parts of the cannons. So now what we'll do, guys, is we'll go through placing these down uh, again. If you haven't got those, or obviously if you haven't got command blocks, you can use instead things like wither skeleton skulls, skeleton skulls, or just use nothing at all, or you could potentially try and use grindstones, but they might look a little bit chunky. Um, but for me, I love the cannon wheels player heads. Okay, so we're going to get on to the cannons, which uh, like I was saying, this one only has 10 cannons in total just on the top deck. These would be a lot smaller. Smaller cannons, because you usually, well, you do have the uh, heavy cannons down belief, but this one doesn't have a gun deck. Because it's going to be filled with precious, precious cargo. So um, for this, like I was saying, with the uh, player heads type of stuff, uh, you can use those, or you can use, um, what are they called, wither skulls, but survival players complain at me for that. I don't know why. I wonder why. Um, anyway, we're also going to need a barrier block as well. So um, let's grab a barrier. Not a barrel? Barrier. Uh, if you are in survival, grab string instead. I'm sure you guys already know about the whole thing. It's the same same exact thing. So the first one's this gap here. We're going to put in a... Um, it's called anvil. Then we're going to have a dark oak stair on the back of here. And then we're going to have wheels either side of it. So just with the player heads, you plonk them onto the two sides there. Just like that. And if you did have wither skulls instead, and we'll do this the same on the other one. So we're going to have this here. So we'll do wither skulls. You put them on just like that. Um, they're the closest you've got to real cannonballs so yeah you can see why I prefer these player heads because they're made exactly for it so there we go then this one they're all going to be sticking out a little bit so if you're in survival yeah, you can put down a piece of string oops not there a piece of string and so that you can then put an anvil on top um, which I'll leave on this side otherwise you can put down a barrier block and make it look completely invisible uh, to get it to float while it's sticking out like that so nice and simple there what we're then going to do for the next one is we're going to just go from this bit of fence here, knock out one on either side, put in the uh, anvils, stick these out over the. Whoops. I need to put. Sorry guys, I forgot completely to put on the slabs on this side. That's terrible. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then you can put that down. There we go. I always get caught out. So there we go. Dark oak stairs on the sides there. Put on the cannon wheels. I was wondering why it dropped. <laughs> and then get the wheels on the sides of these ones like that. We're going to do the same on this one as well. So leave that fence there. Knock out these two. I'm going to have some cannons here as well. So cannons on the side of this. Just on the side like that. Like that there. Cool. Then the next one. Well, we've got this nice gap here. So that's going to be it. So we're just going to have this one sticking out over there. Put in the fence on the back. Now because we can't put in a wheel obviously on the side here, don't even bother. Uh, it's just the easiest way to do it. So put in that there, that there, that one there, and then put in the wheel on the back there. And then finally the one on this upper deck here. So we're going to have that one there. Not that sideways though. We're going to have it that way. Like this. And then and this one can just go directly on top as well. And apparently I'm not doing so well about uh, getting everything completely 100% on these. Put in those, <laughs> that little bit there, and put that in. Just in case, just double check everything, guys. It's um, It's been one of those days for me, unfortunately. Never-ending stuff. So there we go, put in those wheels there. Now, like I was saying, you can put in more cannons if you want to. Um, if you wanted to put in a couple on the lower deck, what I would, would advise doing is having a minimum of two blocks gap, and if you do that, you can end up with something like this. So you can have these three here. If you put it onto that one, you then get this kind of like, it doesn't look strong enough, in my opinion, uh, for it to last. So if you do it there instead, you can then plonk in these. You can have those two things here, like this. And of course, when you go inside, you're going to end up with a little bit raised up. But, you know, you could have it like we're pretending it's angled, if you wanted to. And you can always like bring everything up as well. So probably, yeah, do that. Pretend that it's actual angled, because then you can see through these gun ports, uh, which makes it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, not with wither skulls. And the reason I do the two blocks is so you can put your, your player heads on it. Um, that is the only reason. Um, so then if you wanted to do that, you could add some more guns onto it. 
And of course, if you're going to do that, these are all extras that aren't on the tutorial to, or on the original build. You can then also put on your um, spruce fence, fen uh, fences, trapdoors, spruce trapdoors as well. If you wanted to, you could also have it lower down. But because this is where I've got my water level, that's why I haven't done that because it doesn't look quite right unless you've got at least one block between the two. But you could have it lower down uh, just to explain what that would look like. Because again. All these kind of things guys it's totally up to you what you want to do with it if you did do it down here instead you can then have a slab in the top piece here and then have your spruce trap door like that so what that does is of course because we already had this down you then get this nice slab looking through so this is what i do for my bigger ships i think it looks really cool uh, i'm really i'm a really big fan of it so that's why i quite like doing that one it's just that because of where this one is layered where the water is I just don't think that it looks too good uh, with that being in there so you know it's totally up to you guys what you want to do but you know options are options I'd rather give you too many options than not enough so that you kind of get a bit stuck but there you go if you want to do that you can put those in there you could probably put another one in there um, if you wanted to as well and probably find somewhere up here because of course this level there we go you've got a little gap there so you could put one in Perhaps even up there, you know? So have a look at where you want to put in things. You could probably make this one into a sick freight ship of the line, perhaps, though. A lot of the cannons will be on the top level, which won't be quite as accurate to uh, the real thing. But anyway, that's enough for cannon talk. we put in the cannons, we've done the cannons, let's do the masts. All right, so now we're going to get on to the masts. So we're going to start with the front mast, and then we're going to do the back mast as two different bits, just so I can make sure I've got everything absolutely right on them. So first things first, uh, hopefully you guys have already got the barrel down here. Uh, if you have, have, then that's good because that's exactly what we need. We're going to need a couple blocks. We're going to need stripped uh, dark oak wood. We're also going to need a barrel or you can use composters. Uh, we're going to need a ladder, uh, spruce stairs, spruce slab, granite wall and spruce fence. So on top of the barrel, we're going to build up with six blocks. One, whoops, one, two, three, four, five and six like that. And we're then going to place down one barrel just directly on top. So it's facing like that. We're going to add four blocks on top of this one. So one, two, three, and four. And if you're wondering how I'm placing them on top, uh, I'm doing holding down shift because, of course, if you shift and click, um, you can then click it. And I'm also, yeah, so on PC, I'm doing shift and, and space to be able to fly at the same time as being able to actually click on these without uh, opening them. If that makes sense, just in case people get stuck. Right on top of this, we're now going to have two barrels. But this second barrel, what we're going to do, Let's have that one upside down, like that. The reason being, we want to show this side of the, the face of it. So when we get to, I think it's that one, that one there. Uh, apparently, I've just got mine open like that, but that's what I want instead. I don't want it the other way around. So we're now going to go forwards, and we're just going to have a normal barrel like this. Then on top of this one, we're going to have two blocks. One, two, then a barrel, then five blocks. One, two, three, four, and five then a barrel, then two blocks, one, two. Now we're going to switch over to granite wall where we're going to have two of these. And we're going to have two spruce fence on top. So this is just to taper that bit of wood on top. And then you can put a flag on it if you want to, you know, flying this way. Um, yeah, if you wanted to do that. So that's the base kind of part of the mast. Obviously it doesn't look very good at the minute, but that's exactly what we're going to get onto now. So where we've got this barrel right here, we're going to have a sideways barrel. Yeah, sideways barrel. Um, like that. And we're going to have a stripped dark oak wood on either side of those. And we're going to do two sets of three just going out. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So what I do to make the sails a lot better and, and more interesting is um, have these at an angle. So have the actual masts themselves slightly angled over, slightly twisted, rotated. Uh, and it really helps quite a lot with everything. So there we go. Get that there. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Of course, do have a look at your wind direction um, if you've already sorted one out. So if you've already got like smoke that's coming up like one way, don't don't make the mask go the other way. It'll it'll just look odd and people will be able to notice. But yeah, um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our spruce stairs and we're just going to build like a little bird's nesty type thing. We're just going to go onto the side here and just wrap one around like this. Go right to the back here, and I think I'm gonna have to have a look. One, two, three. Okay, it's just wrapped around. So this one is just wrapped around to here instead. So we go get the stairs there, wrapping around, and then to there. And then we're just going to put ladder going all the way down this. It doesn't quite work out 
with this one. Um, so I've tried to do it in here where you can get up to well this point, but then when it all kind of like joins in, it starts to get more difficult. You can you can fudge it if you wanted to make it so you can go all the way to the top. Uh, you can fun fudge these bits uh, to connect in, similar to what I've done down here, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So there we go. Yeah, you can have you know a ladder going pretty much all the way up. Right. So the next bit, what we're going to do, we're going to put in the next mast, and that one is going to be at this barrel. So we're going to have another sideways barrel. Now we're going to have a block on each side of those, and this time we're just going to have one set of three coming out. One, two, three, and one two, three, like that. So just one set there. Then the next one is going to be up here. We're going to have another sideways barrel. Place a block on either side of that. And we're just going to have two blocks coming out this time. So one, two on each, either side. And one, two. So it's just slightly smaller, that's all. So same angle, but just slightly smaller. And that gives us at least that one. I'm pretty sure we've got another bird's nest type thing. Not really bird's nest. What's it called? Crow's nest? Pretty sure it's called crow's nest. Uh, which is just underneath this one here. So we put in a Stair going this way. Then we just go around the back here. Have another stair going there. So we get a stair going that way. Stair there. Stair at the back. And we just put in a slab between the two here. And now we can, if we want to, put your ladder in. Uh, just in case you do want to do all the whole climbing all the way up. Because I know that when I used to play uh, a, a lot like survival and stuff like that, I would do that. Because it was just cool being able to actually look over at stuff and see where things are at. So that kind of works there. Right, so that is it for that mast. So what we'll probably do next is build onto this one and join that up. Then we'll get onto the back one and do the joining up bits from there. All right, now for the bowsprit, which is this front kind of thing here, and joining up onto it from there. So what we're going to do, grab your dark oak slab. And counting this block that we've got here, we've actually got uh, 14 going forwards in total right to this end, which will bring us to the end of this box. So we've already got one, two, and this is where we put a slab on top this time. Then we're going to have three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So the fourteenth one, we've doubled all the other ones, so we've got double slabs, slab on top of a slab, and then we've got a block, and it keeps going until the last one, we just have it normal. You can, of course, plonk it on there. I just don't know why, it just doesn't quite seem like it comes to a point then. Uh, it just seems like it comes to a blob instead, which is which is never good. So this one's a little bit weird. Um, it's actually got this tied underneath where one of the sails will be, so it's going to be interesting to try and figure out the sail, but usually what I do is I just uh, have the sail come out like normal and then just attach this in as if it's just there. So what we'll do is we're just going to step down with our oak fence, so one, two down there, then go out, then down, then out. Basically just follow this pattern. You're just doing a, a straight diagonal. Straight diagonal. <laughs> you know what I mean. A very basic diagonal <laughs> with your fence. Just joining it up and keep on going down and just joining it up and keep on going down and just keep going, really. You know what I mean. Straight diagonal. Very silly. Um, so there we go. We get it to right to at that point there. And that is it for the bow sprit. At least we've now finished up this and it looks a little bit better. So let's go onto the back mast and put in all of these bits and then join it all up and then we can get onto the shrouds part of it and the sails. Alright, so now for the back mast, what we're going to do guys is, well, where we had this barrel before that's just now sticking out the ground, uh, we're just going to go up with two blocks on top of this one. One, two. Then we're going to have a barrel. Then we're going to have four blocks. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a barrel. Then we're going to have four blocks. One, two, three, and four, like that. Then we're going to have two barrels, but this time again, this one going to be upside down so we get that nice top texture. Then right in the front, we're just going to have one barrel coming forwards off of that. Then we're going to have two blocks. Then we're going to have a barrel. Then we're going to have five blocks. Then we're going to have a barrel. Then we're going to have four blocks. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have two granite walls and our two, well I've got them, spruce fences. So let's grab those, plonk them on top. There we go. So there we go, that's what we get for that. And again, it doesn't look very impressive just by that, so let's put on the actual, uh, the actual, what are they called? These things that go out to the side, they're, they're like masts, but there's probably a fancy word for them. Anyway, so for the bottom one, it's the same as this one here. So we're going to just do a side block here on this, this uh, not the first, 
um, barrel, but the second barrel here. And then plonk this going across here, and then we're going to do two sets of three coming off of this. It's on the back as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. Then what we're going to do up here is this one right here, so past this part where it moves forwards. This is where we're going to have the next one. So put your barrel on there, put a block on there, and we're just going to have one set coming out. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. It's got some quite small sails on this one. Then at the top it is just this barrel here. So there, and we're going to do the same thing as the one down here as well. That's one, two, three. And then one, two, three, like that. Okay. So we're going to do the joining parts now. So I know we've got other bits to do at the back, but for the time being, and the crow's nest and all that, but we'll do this and finish this up. So just off of here, we're just going to do two bits of oak fence coming off there. Then we're going to go down, two, three, down, two, three. So we just get blocks of three, basically, that are joined together that work their way down. Like this, and then this one does connect into there, which is why I was saying about it. You have to wait until we do the shrouds. Because, for example, with this one, you could, if you wanted to, then just do this. And that'd be it. You know, you'd then be able to get somewhere climbing up, and it won't look too bad. But, um, yeah, for this one, we're just going to go with that that way of doing it. Uh, the next one is from the same mast as well. Oh, not the same mast. The next mast down. And, again, it's going to go two. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Just works its way down like that. And this one, again does then whack into that and again can do some joining stuff later on and I'll show you how to do that. So the next one is not on this one, it's two blocks up. So you got one, two there and then you go one, two, two, three, four this time. So we're going to do an extended one, say longer. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. And again we'll connect it in for the time being. However, this one I definitely did put in, yeah, I definitely put in a little bit of a tweak on there, which is fine. So there we go. Those are the ones that connect into it. So what we'll do now is we're going to put in the this mast at the back, which I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, I'm not totally keen with this, this shape here. I think that should be more up there. But we'll see how it goes, and if I need to tweak it, we need to tweak it. So for this one, what we're going to be is on the upper piece of this barrel right here. And we're going to have a slab, so this is dark oak slab. Bring that forwards by one, put that one back, so it's three in total. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be basically stepping up and going out each time. So as you can see, it's probably easy to see it from there. So, there you go. so each time it goes up by a slab, and each time it goes out by a full block, because we, can't, we haven't got slabs going sideways yet. Um, so just do that. So there you go, one, two, three, then one, two, three, and then one two, three, like that. So we get four sets of three going up right there. And you can, of course, quite comfortably walk underneath this one because it's a bigger ship. Whereas my smaller ones, as you guys will probably remember, you have to then start doing the whole crouch thing to get to one and a half blocks high, uh, which is fine. But uh, anyway, right. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to have to have a very quick look. I'm pretty sure I was on the bottom of the barrel. Okay. It's fine. It's that one there. So what we're going to do here is put in a slab on the, on the kind of like lower piece of this barrel where we got the two, and just bring that and do the three again. And exactly the same, we're going to go back with these and out by a slab, but it's only three long this time, so three groups of it. So we've got one, two, and then one, two, three, like that. So it doesn't go out as far at all. Um, you can also use stairs, so that's what I've done in the past, I usually use stairs going out. But that will do it for the time being. Okay, so now we need to do the crow's nest type things. I'm just going to fly over here to grab that slab instead. So the first one, uh, the first one is going to be at this level here. So we're going to do the same thing where we have a stair this way, then a stair here, then a stair at the trying to fall, stair at the back. So around here, wraps there, wraps to there, wraps to there, and this time we're actually going to have a slab that goes over. To the back part here. So this is what I was going to do on this bit. But as you can see, this bit of rope gets in the way. So that's what would have happened here. It's just that we've got the, the ropey bit uh, attaching up. And I thought the ropey bit looks better than having that block floating there anyway. So that's why I went with that. And again, you can put the uh, the ladder going out the back of this one. Uh, this one actually, turns out this one's all connected up because of course there isn't anything going into the back of it, which is cool. So it could be you keep the, the front one as normal and uh, 
Don't do anything else. Also with ladders, I usually try not to put it on the bottom one, because otherwise when you're walking past, you start going up it. Whereas if you've got it on the bottom one here, you can walk past safely, and then when you want to go up it, you just jump. And then you can get onto it. Uh, I don't know if other people do that or not, but that's just what I do. Um, seems to be a good thing. That's going to carry it away. Carried on for quite a while, should I say. So there we go, we've got that one there. I'm just going to go around to this level here. So this one is just underneath one block, uh, sorry, two blocks down from the mast. So it's just on this one here. We're just going to wrap this around here to the back. Go from there to there to there, and then just put in a slab right at the back there. Like that. So we've at least got this this bit up to here. So then, you know, we're, we're up pretty high and see everything, which is good. So that will do for the time being. So let's go on to the shrouds part of it. And then we get the sails, and then we are done. Alright, so now we're going to get onto the shrouds, and we're going to be splitting this into two different two sections, I guess. Uh, the front section and the back section. Uh, purely because it's always complicated, and be the bigger the ship you go, the bigger the ship you get, the more complicated it becomes. So the shrouds are basically the roped parts that go and connect up to the main masts. Um, in pirate kind of movies, you always see people climbing up in them and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's that typical thing. Um, and yeah, as simple as that, really. So you don't have to get it exact, exact. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. It'll probably look even better or look more organic because it is an organic-like structure. You know, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, can you imagine if both, you know, the sailors on a pirate ship got both of these sides tied exactly the same, you know, totally perfectly, and there wasn't just one bit hanging off or something? You know, it's, it's never going to realistically happen. So yeah, but I'll try and guide you guys through as close to possible as possible what I've done. So you're going to need birch fence and you're going to need oak fence. Um, I'm actually switching this. This one does have just oak fence on it, but I've been using birch fence lately for a lot of my rope stuff and then use other different bits of oak for other bits of rope stuff. It just seems to work a bit better. So we're going to have on top of these, we're actually going to start on the, uh, the left hand side of the ship. The reason being these masts get in the way. So usually you end up with one side having missed some. As you can see here, the shrouds go directly into the block. So it's much easier to do it completely on one side without having that issue then do it on the other side where you kind of come across those and you just know how to work around them because you've already done it once so you're going to put on top of these uh, this, this kind of dark oak bit here four fences then on top of that build up another four fences on top then we've got this block here we're going to move that one onto the back of that then right over the top of this what we're going to do is have four bits of fence there in the middle Two of them are going to join up, just like that. Then we're going to add another layer of four on top. Not there. <laughs> four on top, and another layer of four on top. Like that. So you get this kind of thing going on. Then what we're going to do is behind this, not the first one, but the next three, we're going to put in fences behind them, like that. Then we're going to build up three lots on top. One, two, two, three. And then another one, one, two, three. So we've got two lots on top like that. Then on this one behind it, we're going to put in a fence piece like that. The next sets of two on this side, we're going to go up with three in total. So one, two, so that's one, that's two, and it's three. So we go up like this. And then behind this, what we're going to do is join in, I think this one here. And I'm going to have to have a look. It's where it gets really complicated. Yeah, so this one goes up the back here. So there we go. Yeah, that one joins into the back there. And then we're going to build this up to, say, there. So we get that there. Going to put in two fences here as well, just like that. Then we're going to put in one fence here on the front piece, join across the back, and then these are going to go to this one, just twos all the way up like that okay so that's what's going on there we could do some more stuff that makes it look a little bit fancier like adding in like a one there instead etc and so forth these ones are actually quite basic compared to some of the other ones I've done um, so at least there's that I mean I'll probably cut down that as well because that looks more natural to me but you know it's, it's totally up to you guys what if you want to sw uh, switch it around or just keep it as is so if we go to the next level and what we're going to do is we're going to have three of them on top of here because we're just going around this little crow's nest. The back two, we're going to add an extra two on the top, then another two on the top. Then just this one here is going to go all the way up to the top here, like that. 
Then for this top crow's nest, just put oak fence around it. It's using a different type of uh, type of wood, and you'll kind of see, or you see it better in the shade side. I think it looks nice having the two tones. At least that's what I, I think anyway. But who knows? So we're gonna do the same on the other side. So four on top of here, one, two, three, four. Another four on top of that, one, two, three, four. This one's gonna have one on top of it. Then across the back part, we're gonna have a four, one, two, three, and four like that. The middle two, add two in. And then what we're gonna do is have another four on top of this back piece here. And do it again, one, two, three, four. Then leaving the frontmost one, we're gonna have three on the back here. And we're gonna build that up another three on the back of that one, and another one, three on the back of that one. Like that. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I knocked out that one, didn't I, in the end? From the other side, so I'm gonna do the same there. So then we get this going on. I'm having to have a look because it is always a mess. Um, so then these ones here, right, so we would have had a two here. So we're going to have another two there. And another two. I'm having to look and it, this is where it really, this is why it helps on the other side. Then you have one on that one, like that. Now if we move down here, what we're going to do, so as you can see, you can see it moving in. So we're going to build the other same, same thing on the other side there. Move that one in. And, yep, that's correct. And then build that one up again. Build it up again. Like that. And then build one more behind this. And join that behind there. And we're going to have these twos going all the way up to the top. Like that. There we go. That now connects in. So if we free up this one, what we're going to do is we're going to knock out that one. And we can put in a ladder. With this one, what we're going to do is we can then extend these white bits out if you wanted to then climb up it. And it doesn't look too bad. Or you could do it with the... Probably the oak's going to look a little bit better, I think. Let's have a look. So look. Yeah, I think the oak looks better when you join it in. So if you're going to have to extend it, then you've got a clear cut between your shrouds part of it and the other ropes that are then tying. So imagine like it's going like... Almost like one rope coming down, then it splits into two. I know it wouldn't quite happen that way, but you know, whatever. Um, we could have a thing around it. Who knows? Um, so now for here, three on top of this. Then just the back two, we're going to go up an extra two, an extra two, and the middle one goes all the way to the top. Like that. Then with this one, knock it out, put in a ladder, and put your oak fence on either side. So then you can kind of climb into that bit. There we go, that's what's going on with those shrouds. They are complicated. Don't worry about messing them up. If you do, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do some tweaking on mine, like this. I'm just going to add in that extra one there. I just didn't like the straight line. Um, I try and avoid straight lines like that, going across as much as possible. If I can bring one up, then I will. Uh, and where does it get brought up? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> so the main thing is this line go from there to there, and then these ones going up and everything like that. So that's the main thing. Anyway, let's get on to the back ones. All right, so now for the back shrouds, or shrouds at the back, back mast shrouds. I don't know what we want to call them. Whatever. Uh, again, we're going to be starting on the left-hand side of the ship because it's a lot easier. Grab your birch fence. I've, of course, got a gun going through this one. So we're just going to put in our fence blocks around this this time. Build another la layer on top. Like that. Then just the back ones, we're going to have three on top. Then we're going to move this back here and push it out to there. Just as if it was magically connected in, even though it's not... Although, apparently, on my one it is. Yeah, so actually it is. Sorry, I thought that was a slab. I was confused. <laughs> so, yeah, we go. Connect it in like that. I'll try not to get confused by my own stuff. Then the back three, which not not nearest the back, but the, sorry, the front most three here, we're going to build up. This one right here, we're going to add an extra fence in. Build it out with another three. One, two, three, like that. Then with the front most one, we're going to add one on the back there. The back two, we're going to have two fences on top. Then we're going to have three just joining across the back. So on top of that, that one we had sticking out before, and then just join those up. Just there. Then an extra three on top. One, two, three. And an extra three on top. One, two, three. Then the frontmost two, we're going to add, add, add an extra two on top, like that. Then we're going to add one on top of that one there. Now what we're going to do is just behind these, just this one here, add an extra one in, add an extra one in here, and then just on these ones, connect that one in there, and then we're just gonna have twos 
going all the way to the top like that. So that's what you end up getting. Again, if you don't get it right, it doesn't really matter. These aren't my best ones at all. Um, and they actually seem really random compared to what I do these days. But you know, that is just how it is. So we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to do fences going on top of this bit, except for for the cannon. Build on top of this, like that. Put one in here, because we can. And then we're going to have four on top of this bit here, like that. On the forward, uh, sorry, the, is it the back most free? Yes, yeah, the back most free. We're going to have three of them. One, two, three. So leaving this one here because that one's connected in there. That makes perfect sense. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have... Sorry, this is why I'm getting so confused. One on here. That's right. Yeah, so we're going to have on the back of this bit here, um, or the front most part of it, three fences on top, three fences on top, Then this one here has an extra fence on it. There we go. God, it's difficult. On the back two, build up just two there, and then this one goes in. Then we're going to have three on the back, so one, two, two, and three like that. So this is all looking okay so far. Then we're just going to build up this back three with another one, and another one, but of course one of them's already hit into the mast, which is absolutely fine. Then these two here, we're going to have two on top of that. And this back one's going to join in the back here. This one's going to go up with one. I'm going to have fences going across here, just to join that up. And then connect these, and then connect these like that. And this one's going to go into this mast instead of going all the way to the top. Right, so, for the next bit, we're going to grab birch fence again. So, same material. <laughs> put, put them just on top of here, including at the back as well. Let's put them on there like that. And these back ones, we're going to have two here. Then another two. That's just this middle one here that goes to the top. So I think it's basically exactly the same as the other one. The two there, two there, and this middle one just goes up like that. And this top one, we're just going to ring around it with oak fence. Phew. So there we go. That's the shrouds part of it. Um, I I, do, I dislike the shrouds. I always dislike the shrouds because they're always really difficult to explain and really difficult to do, but don't worry about messing up. If you mess up, it doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. Um, and it also doesn't matter if it's not perfect. So, you know, these aren't perfect. I'm not that happy with them, but they will do, you know, it's one of those. Nobody's going to tell, you know, when you're flying around a ship, you won't tell. It's only now that I've just been looking at them closely that I go, actually, I can do those better. So good news is guys, we can now get on to the sails. So let's do that. All right, so first things first, what do you do if you want to tie up the sails? So this is what I've done anyway. I've got mine on my main world on uh, on Lord Sport, uh, which you guys should check out if you are interested. I can't show you too much because I think it'll probably give something away of the next couple of episodes of that. But um, yeah, what I've got mine is uh, actually docked up here. It's having its cannons unloaded because uh, perhaps it's from an enemy nation and they don't like or don't allow their trade ships in without their cannons being taken off them. Maybe it's just a political thing rather than anything else. Um, but yeah, mine's all tied up. So the sails here, as you can see, I've just plonked on a couple blocks of white wool. Uh, it's very basic and you just kind of have it there and you try and droop the middle part of it. Same with all of these ones. And then the front one, I always find this one more difficult when it's uh, a little bit smaller or it's more, more angled. The more more kind of like the straighter the angle that you get, the more difficult it is to make it look good. So that's why we end up getting this, but you can see it kind of being tied on these two bits and then it's kind of drooping in the middle. That's the idea anyway. The back one, the one that I'm least happy with, is just kind of blobbed up. But nobody looks at that, so it's absolutely fine. So that's what I've done for mine. Uh, so if we now jump back over to my actual flat world, where we've actually got the ship, we're now going to do the sails uh, fully. So we're going to start off with the front. So this will be the first time I'm doing mine, so uh, you know it's just following a standard technique that I've kind of made after over a little while, and it's going to be quite rough as well. So not, unlike the shrouds, where I'm trying to show you a complex thing and make, try and make it as simple as possible, the sails are organic. You're trying to make it look like the wind is blowing from them. So what we do first is we build a very basic square. This seems to work quite well. So you just come forwards off of the masts. You have three blocks here, two blocks here. Then we come out again. And this time we're going to go down with two. And we do the same. And we have this very, very basic thing. Ignore the 
uh, fence for the time being. Just leave that in there. And we might then... Uh, it's probably not worth going out and then going in again. Oh, no, let's go out and let's go in again. So we'll go out one more, perhaps. And then we're going to go in as well. I'll be behind that. It's going to look really strange. So we end up with this very blobby looking sail, right? So that's what we start off with. What we're going to try and do now is make it look like, well, we're going to get rid of these corners. These corners are horrible. So the easiest thing to do is just take out a block, put in one there. You can also push back the block as well. So those are the two things you can do. Either go there or you can go there. You know, those are the kind of things that you're looking for. You can do that with all of the bits and bobs. You want to try and avoid this kind of thing where you just get these these kind of squares here, so we push that one out. I'm also going to add a little bit of extra cloth coming out of here. The reason being, this makes it like almost a circular kind of shape going across here. So that's what we want to do. We want to bring that to there as well. We'll just leave it on the top of that one for the time being. This one I'm going to push in. I'm actually going to bring this out. This might look quite nice. Yeah, that looks quite nice. So that'll do there. We're also going to bring this or pull this one back as well. So this is another thing that you can do. So right there. And that one doesn't look very good, so we'll get rid of that one. Bring that one back to there. Like I said, it's a completely rough kind of thing, what you're trying to do. And then what we do is we can cut out a couple blocks at the top and a couple blocks at the bottom as well. So we want to try and make it look like there's a curve here and a curve here. And now this is where you see the problem with the, um, with the rope. So this is where what you do is you just replace a couple blocks in there like that. And make it very simple, and then at least it then fleshes that out a tiny bit. But that doesn't look too bad. Let's just bring that one back to there, perhaps. Yeah, so that's quite good. So there we go, that's done. So I know that doesn't really make any sense at all. It's just like place a load of random blocks. But what you're trying to do is use this basic square shape. I'm going to do the same on this one here. You go across the front here. And I'm going to go over two again. And, and this is totally random, right? So there isn't any, I haven't got any like predefined this is what I start with type of thing. I do it completely randomly. Uh, I find it works better. We're also going to go forwards with another two. Um, and I find it works better because you then end up with slightly different sails each time you do it. <laughs> and that looks quite nice. So there we go. We've got that there. We're now going to... Box, we've got like three blocks. Now I'm going to bring it in. And you could if you wanted to and you really do struggle. Keep it with the simple sails. Right, we're actually going to go with two of these. Um, and then we're going to bring it in with that last one. There we go. So yeah, if you wanted to go with really simple sails and you were struggling, just go with them really boxy, you know, it's absolutely fine. But what we can do is we can try and smooth out everything. Make it look good. So that's what we're going to do. Bring that down to there. Gonna try and pinch it in. I could, I could call it pinching in. It doesn't really mean anything. All it means is just pushing back a couple blocks. In order to make it feel like it's tighter on this side, like there's a rope pulling on it, that's the idea. We're gonna have these going out. All right, this one here, put that to there. Have that out to that side, that looks pretty good. Don't like this down here though, but we'll knock that out. And then we're gonna do the same on this side as well. So bring that out to there. So up here, do something like that instead. So knock out these blocks. Just gonna go for three there. I'm gonna go for five down here. Uh, or four even. Yeah, I'm gonna go four. I'm gonna make it a little bit different. Why not? Why not do like four blocks instead of five or whatever? So there we go. That looks okay. And then we get these kind of like corner bits here. So you get this like straight line, and you go, well, that doesn't make any sense. So let's let's get rid of that, and we end up pushing back this a little bit like that instead. And that looks, starts to look good. And you can you can push this one in then, and maybe even push this one in. So you start to just like play around with the shape. I'm going to start to get a feel for everything, what, what's going on. Actually, no, that one looks okay. Put that one into there. Yeah, that looks good as well. So that one will do. I'm happy with that one. Then we do the same with the next one. And this this is it. This, this is as simple as it is for the technique. And it took me a while to get used to it. Once you get used to it, uh, then it's fine. So we're just going forwards again with one. I'm going to go with two this time again. Well, I say this time. We seem to be doing this a lot with ones and twos. I usually go out more and make bigger ones, but um, these are relatively small sails. And I know that sounds a bit strange because it is still quite a big ship and it's been a long tutorial, but it's still relatively small compared to some other ships that I've done. 
Hmm, now where's the where do we go from here? I think we'll go forwards, because we're gonna do something a bit cool. So right here, bring that across, bring that down here. Don't worry about making it touch the deck, you know, it's going over the whole ship anyway, so. I'm gonna plonk these in, move plonk one in. There or something, you know, it's quite low, that is really low actually. So let's just tweak this here. So we're going to knock out already. We're going to knock out a big five there. We're going to knock out, you know, bring this out here, bring that out there, bring that out. We're just, we're trying to, what I'm trying to do is stretch out the sail a little bit. So it's more going to the outside parts of it. It's because we've got a small sail. So this is what we can try and do to make it look better. Uh, so we get to there. Also, yeah, let's bring one block back as well. Like that. So <laughs> got a horrible square that we just made then. Excellent. Um, so then we'll get this corner here, and have this going out. And then we go, we've gone over the board, board now, but that's fine. If you guys are putting it up with sails, you're doing it out on the open water anyway. So that's how that'll work. So there we go, bring that down there. It looks a little bit strange. I might actually bulk it up right here. So that'd be a bit thicker. Oh, we haven't done the uh, top bits as well, so bring this onto these. So I was wondering what was going on, what was look, looking odd with it. It just took me a little while. Does that look okay? Yeah, that looks okay. Still don't like this two here and then this two up here. You can just break that with that. Simple little thing sometimes. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. So that looks like it's going around the shape of the ship and everything. So that's quite good. So we'll do the front sail to do something slightly different and we'll get back into it. So for the front sail, which I I always forget the name of, which you would have thought I would know the names of these by now, but uh, it just doesn't stick to me. Um, we'll just build in some blocks here, so I usually go off this kind of shape here, then come out and do the same kind of shape. I start shaping it afterwards. The the reason being, it's always quite I find them quite difficult to do. So I'm gonna have like a couple extra blocks in there, bring this out again. And this one I'm gonna knock out to there, and that one I'm gonna knock out to there. And then we're gonna we want to start moving back in, or do we want to move out a little bit more? Let's move out a little bit more. Why not? Let's change, change what I'm doing. Move that there, and then we're gonna move in. So what I'm trying to do now is we've got a sail here, which is tied up on this part. We can bring it out, and then it's gonna be pulled in as if there's a rope here that's pulling on it, but it's it's able to you know uh, catch the air enough that it's going out. But that's what we're trying to do right now. Probably end up with having it tied. Somewhere even there would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, so if we do it there, do some other stuff around this. Try and make that look good. This needs to go back. Without a doubt, that needs to go back. Fortunately, it hits into that sail, which always makes it look odd. But what we can try and do now is shape it. So we want to... We have a block there. We cut out a couple blocks, so I'm trying to make a nice, like, kind of like a curve here. I'm just trying to find where is the point where it looks good, you know? Yeah, it's too much. I'm <laughs> just like that, that, that cutting out that bit just makes it look too much, way too much. So we might even go with this instead. So there we go. So we've got that little bit going out to there, and then it comes back in. This is nice angled wise, and again, it's totally random and difficult to explain. Next sail. Right, so we're going to start from the top again. Uh, same kind of technique. There's the other box sails, and you guys, hopefully by the end of this tutorial, if you haven't done one of mine before, will now know how to do sails. They're all the same. Sails. Uh, well, I say all the same. Schooner sails uh, and like square rig sails. Those are the two things you need to learn. But they're basically the exact same thing. Like technique-wise, it's all about just making a shape. It's just that the square ones, you can start with a very square offset first and and then kind of go from there. Oh, we're going to double up this, why not? So it doesn't feel like there's any point moving it inwards because it's not really moved outwards enough. So there we go, so we've kind of got this one and two. It's almost like the wind is blowing upwards. Um, but we're just going to push this out for a lot of this. We're going to push out like this. Obviously we can knock out those three at the bottom, we can knock out three blocks at the top. We'll use that and do that now. This one's going to go back. It's going to go to like there or something. And this one might even just go to there instead. And this one go. Uh, no, let's just go to there. Right, so that one goes to there and goes out. There we go. 
You just start doing these little tweaks to it and it all starts to come together. You know? And that's it. So, right. Anything else? Yeah, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. Now, if you ask me what doesn't look right about it, I don't know. I just knew that it just didn't... It either just looked too flat or it didn't look like the air was pushing it or something. Same with like here, you know, it just... I bring that block in, it just seems to look a little bit better. Still not, never going to be perfect because it is a small sail, but it'll do for now. So, next one. Same thing. Three blocks here. Three going out, three going out. Gonna go forwards and have two. Forwards and then two. And again. Like that. Uh, we're gonna go out with number two as well. And another two. Then what we can do is bring it in. Like this, and should we bring it in again? Yes, yeah, bring it in again. So you just do these small tweaks, and just well, not really small tweaks. You just do these small like patterns that you're trying to you're trying to figure out how it fits. Uh, I might actually double this one up. I remember about the fence? What the hell's going on there? I remember about the, about the fence. Just ignore it. I think I did something weird on it somehow. I'm going to bring this one back with one for the end. Oh, I like that. I like how it's gone to the fence here. I don't know why. Just like that. It's connected there. So with this one, uh, again, we're going to bring this, these kind of bits back, and we have them on top of these these things. I'll just do that to. Nah, I want that one out. Uh, maybe just there. Do the same on the other side. So we've got these already there. And the same with the other ups. Up apart. Let's knock these in. Oops. Uh, there. Bring that down. Bring this one down. Like this, bring that one in. I lost a block. Don't want to push. Yeah, I want to push that one back. I think that's why. What I'm trying to get to. There you go. And a couple extra ones here. Maybe up here. We're gonna lose a load of blocks. Put one there. I mean, it's totally, utterly random as anything. It's all about just trying to figure out. What's going on? In there as well. Yeah, push all this back. I'm going to go with five at the bottom. Why? No reason. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, this is the thing. You don't have to be... It doesn't have to be exact at all, you know? Just play around with it. Till you're happy with it. Yeah, that, that I'm happy with. The only thing I need to do is just take that one out and put in a put in a full thing, and you'll never know. You know, it's, it looks like it's just connected in because you've already got that pattern of that four going in. Um, it still looks exactly the same. It's just that you've replaced one of the one of the blocks with uh, with another one. Um, the only thing I'm not so happy with is this bit here. So I think let me do something there instead. Maybe even have this block here on the other side. The other side looks okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. Next one. So three blocks here. Three blocks here. And three blocks going across there. Same again here. Bring it forwards and go down with two. And across there. And then forwards with another two. Like this, and then pull it back. Get in there. And again, like that. Okie dokie. Right. So this one again, I'm going to go over this big five at the top. Um, at the bottom, yeah, I'm going to do do another five. Because then we can at least you know walk under it without really worrying about it. And then we will, again, 
try and like boost and push everything around and even do this instead. Whenever I get to, whenever I get to even. And yeah, there, and we'll push these ones behind. And in the back there. Let's do something here. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do that. That looks good. Do some tweaks around these. Yeah, and so this is looking not too bad at all. And hopefully you guys have got yours looking okay as well. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter, you know? People won't notice as much, and you'd be surprised. Because some of my older stuff, you know, didn't look amazing. But it still looked good enough for, for what I needed it for. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Oh, I need to put in a... I've done the same thing as I did on the front as well. Didn't put anything on... Well, apparently both sides again. Did exactly the same thing. There we go. So that's that sail there. Those are those sails there. So we've got the back one. Which I've forgotten the name of again. So for this one, we're going to go behind these slabs. And then kind of down on those slabs, I guess. And for this, usually I end up... I'm not sure if I can do this or not. If I do go go with an oak fence down here, can we put in... Yeah, so you can't put anything there. Let's grab that dark oak. Yep, dark oak stair. Let's so put this in. This will help a little bit. Um... That way around? No, I think the other way around. Do one there. And do is that's birch fence. Where's oak fence? There you go. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna try and join this up. Okay. Okay, so if we go to there. We just need to go to maybe a two instead. So what I'm trying to do is build get a way to connect those two there because this then acts as like a little framework that we can use. So in this case I've gone down with two, then two, then three, then three, then it comes forwards and has two. So that will then give us a little bit of a framework to use. So for example this block then can come out and we can then start to push forwards a little bit. So we might have like blocks here. These will probably be lower. Um, we'll start to go in front of these as well. And just go in front of here. This will go, let's go push this one forwards. And then this one goes, let's just bring this all the way back, or all, all the way down here. I want to get to a point where we're kind of on top of these blocks here. You can always go forwards with this. Right, I'm going to do some blockage first. Let's just do some blocky bits. So I'm going to bring this down and then we can we can start to add more onto it first. Because it's a little bit awkward with this top bit. So that's why I'm trying to do some other stuff. And we've also got the shrouds in the way as well, which is fine. So there we go. If we've got something really blocky like that, what we can now do is we can now see where we can do other blocks going in to push everything forwards. So we might have something like this. Like that, maybe. And then this one can then move back. Can you see what I mean? So you can kind of get this this idea for it. We start to create, basically you create these kind of circular things going on the back with this one. It is better and easier with those. So the next time I'll do it, I'll make sure I do the, the ones like I normally do. Because it definitely is a better way of doing it. But for now, this one will definitely do. So I have something like that. That's so whether we've got enough room. Perhaps to push out again. I don't think it looks quite right. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. The only thing I might do is just knock out this block up here. So then it just softens that corner. But that doesn't look too bad, actually. That looks okay. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So that's it, guys, for the sails. So I'm just going to give you guys a very, very quick interior tour of what I've done in mine to give you some ideas. And that's it for the tutorial. All right then, so time for an interior tour and to finish off the tutorial. So with mine, very basic, like I was saying, I've had mine tied up. I've got a nice little crane on the side here. Uh, everything's like cans are being unloaded uh, and then it's going to go in 
because it's an enemy, or not really an enemy vessel, a foreign vessel that they don't trust. So they've, they're taking the cannons off for that reason uh, to the nice castle that we got next to it. So what I've got on here is lots of different materials on top. You know, they've got little bits of cargo everywhere. You know, the stuff that they want to unload straight away and start selling. Maybe they've, maybe it's per perishable stuff from another land. Who knows? So if we go into the main hold, um, here what I've done is got a, um, I mean, actually no, let's let's go downstairs because downstairs is the most boring part of it. I don't want to end with this. Downstairs, the hold, there's just stuff. Everywhere there is stuff. So we've got just materials everywhere. They've got a lot of different bits of cargo all around and that's as simple as that. And you can see where the like, rudder system is. Got a couple of lanterns around. That's all I've really done. It's just filled with stuff, trade stuffs. So then if we go into the front section, just right here, I've put in a wall. Um, I've built up some of the, where we've got the slabs, just put in full blocks. So underneath it still looks like the same, but uh, it isn't. And here we've got a little bit of storage in the front and a couple bunks. So they're, they're really, you know, strapped for space really in this, in this one. Um, in this main area here, so this is where the main amount of cargo would be able to be pulled up from the hold. And uh, we've still got some more like cargo type stuff around here and food and water and all those kind of supplies. And uh, they've got up on here. And they've got a nice little bench as well. I quite like this. So there's a little bench here which you can just about squeeze in now that we can do the whole one and a half block sneaking thing. So there we go. They'll be sat at this nice like bench here. They'll eat their meals and everything. I think it's quite neat. Um, so there we go. Got that there. Right in the back, uh, just off the back piece here, I've put in a, a wall. Uh, just one side of it you can walk down. So in here we've got just two two beds. Uh, again, very, very simple. Kind of little area. We then go into the back section. This is where the mast is. I put in a small, very small room for someone. Maybe that's the bosun, who knows. Um, and then that's, that's where the rudder piece comes in. So I've worked around that. Again, used the space that we got. Put in some shells. Made it look interesting. Got another little room here. So maybe this is the uh, first officer course and then in here we got the captain's quarters which of course is the biggest they got the little cabin so they got a nice little bed on the side a desk on here they can sit at their desk with their map or whatever uh, and see out at the back that's it guys so hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have comment like and subscribe and guys i'll see you on the next one later